This is my first Facebook Live. Nice to have you here this morning. So I wanted to talk about some new products that just arrived into the warehouse from Cascade Yarns. And we got a huge stock in, so I'm very, very excited about this. And I just wanted to show you this first one is Regular Heritage, and it comes in some beautiful colors. Is 75% superwash merino and 25% nylon. Now this yarn, some people say that it can be used for only socks, so they call it a sock yarn, but I have used it for cowls and all different kinds of baby items and things like that. So don't think of it as just a sock yarn. This is a great yarn. It has no itch when you put it next to your skin, so it's perfectly great for babies. And we have it also in prints, and let me, I've showed have some of the prints here, and it's the same 75-25 blend, and beautiful colors as you can see, and I don't know if you can see on this, do you see how it stripes up like that? It's beautiful. Let me show you a cowl. This was my very first lace project when I learned how to knit, and this is called the Sparkle Cowl, and it can be found on CascadeYarns.com. It's a free pattern that you can download. And it uses beads, which is fun. So that's what that looks like. It's really pretty. This is an old colorway. Uh, so we have a lot of new colorways. But you can see that self-striping yarn looks beautiful in this lace project. And I am going to be offering today um, a pattern, that sparkle um, cowl pattern, and a couple skeins of yarn. So you can actually do two of these projects. And all you need to do is get beads from Michaels or wherever you like your beads because we do not sell um, beads and this one is right there that'll be for that cow and all you need to do is post comments in the comments on our Facebook live so go ahead and post your comments of what you're working on so that we can enter you for the drawing and then whoever wins will be posting that and be sending that to the person so the next thing that I wanted to talk about today is we got some more Cascade Lace um, in stock. And it comes in beautiful new colorways. Really very gorgeous for your lace projects. And it's 100% baby alpaca lace. And it's really lovely to work with. has a great drape. And I really like working with this yarn. So we got a great new stock um, of that in for you. And the next thing I wanted to talk about is I've just released a pattern and it's called the Kisses and Hugs Reversible Baby Blanket. And you can see the picture on here is our new kitty cat Max. He um, is a ragdoll kitten and he's up to no good. <laughs> but we really love him. So anyway, that's the reversible baby blanket and he was helping us with the photography with that. And I designed this pattern because I'm going to be a new grandma. So I'm very excited about that. <laughs> And I'm knitting all kinds of baby goodies. And so this is just one of the patterns that I wanted to share with you. And that it's charted and written instructions. And so that is the pattern for that. And I'll show you what it looks like. What I like about this blanket is it has the um, kisses and hugs cables on the front. But it's a completely reversible pattern. And it's really easy to knit. I, I um, designed this pattern so that I could knit it up really quickly and I actually did it started on Monday and f was binding off on Saturday um, but it looks great on both sides and I'll show you a pic uh, what that pattern looks like I have that blanket right here okay and I don't know if you can see this does that can you see that Jim yeah that's what it looks like on that side okay and then I'm going to turn it over so you can see the other side. I got a little corollary up front. Sorry. Is that okay like that? Mm-hmm. And that's what it looks on, like on the other side. And let me show you some things that I like about this blanket. The garter, or I call it rest areas, or make it so you don't have to think. It's actually, you can go to open knitting with this blanket and knit it, and it's easy to um, work with. But see how nice the edges are? It's just beautiful. And that was just slip stitches and ribbing. So, and then the bottom, I used the old Norwegian, well, I can't really tell which side is which. I used the old Norwegian cast on, 
to cast on with. And I like it because your normal um, long tail cast on has the little V uh, stitches. And this looks more like pearl bumps. I just thought it actually went with the garter better than using that long tail cast on. Let me show you the other end. It's the Icelandic bind off. And I had to use a smaller needle to make it look right. To make it look like the other side. Let me show you the two sides. Um, but I really can't tell the difference. It looks really nice. Anyways, I'm going to be doing YouTube videos so that you can learn how to do this on your blanket. And if you get stuck, you can refer to my videos. I would also encourage you to go to the YouTube videos that I've been creating for you. They're like um, quick one minute videos. And what I love about them is if you're in a hurry, you just go ahead and go to those videos and it'll show you the technique with no extra talking. Just here's how to do the stitch and that's what it looks like. Um, so you should go ahead and uh, take a look at those YouTube videos because they're really awesome and I've been working hard on those so and also um, if you can think of other videos that you would like me to post for you um, please go ahead and put it in comments um, so that I can get those made up for you as well um, let's see what else are we going to talk on oh here's another pattern that I'm going to um, talk about and this is going to be a little baby hat and it kind of matches the blanket I thought it looked good together and I always like to use a lot of ribbing on hats and things because it not only adds structure, but it um, adds balance and it's stretchy. And so, and it has a really cute, if you see the top of the hat, the ribbing all um, is uniform and looks nice. It's done with knit two together and slip slip knit. But it's a really cute, and this pattern will be coming out soon, so look for that pattern. Oh, also, I wanted to mention this. I put little straps so that if you have a little baby and you don't want them to lose their hat, you can, um, uh, it'll have little straps to hold it in place for the baby, and then you would just tie it around their neck like that. But I just used, um, just put those straps on there and did the mattress stitch to hold it in place. And you can't, if you look really close on the outside of the hat, this is where it's sewn on. You can't even see where it's sewn on, so it's really awesome. So I think that mattress stitch is really useful with a lot of different things. But anyways, this will be a pattern that's coming up soon, and it'll be matching this blanket. Mention the contest again. So, yeah. um, also, um, I wanted to make sure and tell you about the contest again. We are going to be doing the contest, and it includes a free pattern of the sparkle um, cowl and two different skeins of yarn. You'll be um, getting with that, and this is actually what we'll be sending you. And all you have to do to um, enter to win that is to go and um, post your project or whatever you're working on and post comments in our comments section. Because this is my first Facebook Live and I'm trying to get um, people to interact with us. So that is really awesome. So um, anyways, that is that. Um, now, let's see what else are we going to look at today. Um, I wanted to show you... Um, the, there, here's another one of the baby blanket. I'm doing it in a different weight, and I just started this one. And it's just using a worsted weight, and then I'm using a lace weight yarn to carry along with it. So when you're knitting your projects, if you um, find you want to use some yarn at home, or you want to use you know different kinds, you have a DK weight instead of a chunky weight or whatever, just double it. And then um, you can get a really nice project. And you don't have to necessarily use the yarn that is um, required or what they suggest. You just want to um, be creative and enjoy yourself when you're knitting. Because after all, that's what it's all about. So anyway, another thing that I wanted to talk about is felting yarn. Since we got stock in from Cascade and we have Cascade uh, 220 yarn um Jim, can you grab me a skein of that 220 yarn? Oh, here it is right here. Here's, oh, no, it's not. Here it is right here. This is Cascade 220 felting yarn. And I just wanted to show you that we have 
Deluxe Worsted. It is also a yarn that can be used for felting. And the price on it, it they're both Peruvian Highland wool. They have about 220 yards each. They're um, very comparable yarns. They're both worsted weight. If you look really close, they're very comparable. You can use them interchangeably. So if you don't see a color in 220 that you like, um, please check out this Deluxe Worsted. Um, it's great for felting and will felt beautifully. So give those a try. And that is by Universal Yarns. So um, you can look on our website under Universal Yarn or you can just type in Deluxe Worsted and they'll come up. And we have a nice selection of that as well. Also, we do on the Deluxe, we have it, it comes in different weights. We have um, the natural colors and we have a Deluxe Chunky as well. And all of these will felt, or you can choose not to felt them. And this is a stitch, excuse me, this is a stitch sampler shawl that you can find on Ravelry. And it is a free pattern. Oops, that's back side. Here's the front side. And when this blocks out, it's plenty warm enough and nice enough. It's not too itchy to be able to wear this as an actual shawl. It actually knit up beautifully. I was pleasantly surprised when I um, knit this uh, sampler shawl how much I liked it. So, and this uh, took four skeins. Beautiful. Judy's online. She said that uh, your pink blanket is beautiful. A bunch of people calling in and checking in as well. So. Oh, good. Awesome. I'm glad you enjoy it. I'm always trying to find projects that are functional. Um, I like to make stuff that I can actually use, and I don't like stuff that's so delicate that it I have to um, save it or <laughs> or I have to protect it in some way. So this yarn is actually made with vintage chunky, and this vintage chunky is. Oh boy, it washes up beautifully. You can throw it right in the wash machine. It's for those moms who are busy and they are you know don't have time for special care and this vintage chunky worked up beautifully i'm just really delighted so that's what the vintage chunky looks like and it has a little bit of wool in it so you can be warm with this blanket it's not all acrylic um it has wool in it but it is still this is what it looks like washed up i mean this has been washed and i washed it in the wash machine and, and it, I laid it out to dry after I was done washing it in the wash machine. So it's not difficult to take care of. Anyways, and it should last a good long time. Let me show you another one that I made out of vintage. This is a little baby sweater that we have here in the shop. And this one is um, called the Baby Sophisticate. And it is on Ravelry as a free pattern as well. And that's vintage. That's the worsted weight vintage, but yeah, really, really cute yarn. Machine washable. Perfect for baby stuff. So we had a question, what's the weather like out here? Oh my word. Okay, so it's snowing up a storm here. I think for the next three days, we're going to be getting a ton of snow. And I just talked to my daughter, Lauren, in Boise uh, just a few minutes before we started this. And they are getting snow as well. And if you know um, Hayden, here in Hayden, it's nine hours away from Boise, and it's snowing there and snowing here. So anyways, uh, yeah, a lot of snow. But actually, I like the snow, and I love the wintertime here because we have a lot of what they call snowbirds, and um, that means that they go away for the winter and come back in the summer. So it gets very quiet here. So we have tons of restaurants here, and there are no lines in the winter, so it's great. And plus, I like to hike in the snow, and because I have my alpaca socks, I'm not cold at all. So I go hiking, and we take our little uh, Cavalier Chloe, and we have a miniature Australian Shepherd Andy, and we go hiking with him. Actually, on occasion, we'll bring Ben with us, and he's a four-pound Maltese, and he goes hiking in the snow, too. We just put jackets on them all, and they enjoy it. So, anyway, okay, now to move on. I also wanted to mention this bamboo pop, and it is from Universal Yarn. Universal Yarn Company is not as well known 
and but they have great products and the reason why I brought them in I've tested all of them I've knit with them and I really really like universal yarn I think they're um, exceptional quality for the price and this bamboo pop is no exception this is 50% cotton 50% bamboo 292 yards that's totally awesome and um, this yarn I really like it I've done several projects with it and you have the striping one this new dots is new colorway for bamboo pop and I would check that out um, it's brand new for universal yarns and I actually like it um, also I wanted to mention this particular colorway in our local newspaper in our um, Cord Lane Press, they had a whole article about the knitted knockers. And what it is, is breast cancer patients that have to undergo mastectomies, um, they need these to put inside of their bras. And having that mastectomy is very traumatic for them. Mm -hmm. And so we a lot of our you. knitters will we help them. You. you can still record. Oh. Keep going. A lot of our knitters... Um, we'll knit these for the cancer women uh, who have to have ma mastectomies. And this is the actual colorway that they use. And we just got a large stock of this in. And it's color number 125 in the bamboo pop. So if you need to make those knitted knockers for charity um, for your local uh, mastectomy patients, um, check this color out. Once again... The colorway on it is number 125, and it's Bamboo Pop. So check that out if you want to do the knitted knockers for your local um, charity group. Um, I'm trying to think of what else we need to talk about today. Um, we lost the connection for a second, but everyone's, they're all back now. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> so um, what I was just talking about, and I'm, I just want to make sure you, that you heard this, and in our local, the CDA Press, it had an article about the knitted knockers. And this is for mastectomy patients, um, women who have gone undergone mastectomies. And this fits inside their bra, so after they have surgery. So that they're, um, well, everything's traumatic about the mastectomy. And this really helps them. And there are a lot of charity groups that do this for women who undergo this. So I wanted to, once again, reiterate Bamboo Pop number 125 and it's the perfect color for this charity group okay uh, let's see what else we can talk Asking about. Ask them to post what they're working on. Oh yes that's a great idea so um, I wanted to ask you what you're working on and also I wanted to make sure that um, you let us know if you have ideas for um, projects or yarns that you like that we do not carry that you would like us to take a look at we always evaluate our yarns and before we bring them in and any suggestions that you have we would love to be there for you and we want to carry what you want to buy so if you have ideas about things that you want us to carry please let us know and also post your comments in the side and um, make sure and let us know because we do care about you. We're here for you. We want you always learning, always growing, enjoying the products that we have. So just let us know what, how you like this stuff, what you're doing with your yarn, and any way that we can help you at all. Also, make sure you look at my YouTube videos. My husband and I, Jim, have been spending a lot of time working on these YouTube videos, trying to make sure that you have really quick... Um, YouTube videos on how to get the skills accomplished. So if you need to learn the knit stitch or the purl stitch, whatever it is that you're working on, we want to post it so you can take a look at our YouTube videos and get that skill quickly so that you don't have to spend extra time um, trying to figure out how to do that when you're in a hurry. Uh, let's see. So um, I'm trying to think of what else. Oh, also I wanted to let you know that this next Tuesday we're going to be on at the same time. So we wanted to make sure and let you know about that. And I was excited about this new knit along that Michelle Hunter is going to be doing. If you haven't heard about Michelle Hunter, she was a school teacher for 30 years and then she learned how to knit. 
So I use her all the time. She's just a wonderful lady to help people learn new skills. And she, you can find her on YouTube or on knitpearlhunter.com. But she's a great resource for people out there. And in April, she's going to be doing a knit along, and we will be part of that. And it's going to be using this new yarn that's called Concentric. And what it is, it's um, a, like a two stranded yarn that is uh, gradient. And it's made out of baby alpaca. And I am so excited about this yarn. So I had a, one of our employees, Tristan, knit a really cute chevron cowl out of the concentric. And we just loved it. So we are bringing that yarn in. We only have two colors on the website right now. But we'll have the rest this next week. I guess um, Scassell is a little slow in bringing in the rest of the colors. But we talked to them about it to make sure that they are getting it for us. And they assured us in five days it'll be here. So you look forward to knitting that with us in April. I'm going to be doing that knit along as well. And I'm very excited. I haven't chosen my color yet. But it may be either earthy tones or teal. I'm not sure which. But we'll see when all the colors come in. I like to hold them and see what they're like. And then I kind of decide from there. <laughs> Maybe I might be making more than one. Because oftentimes I like more than one color. Oh well. Anyways. So, um, what else are we doing here? Oh, also, I forgot to mention the Begin to Knit and Beyond Basic classes. And you want to look for those. And you can find those on Facebook, Jim? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can find Events. them on Facebook. What's that? In the events. In Under the events section. And the Begin to Knit is for our very beginning knitters. And we like to give them a really strong uh, base. Um, for when they complete our class, they know all the basics. We take our stitches, pull them all off the needles, and teach them how to identify the twisted stitch and we make them put them back on and then when they think they have it right we pull them off again and make them do it again and so we practice those skills over and over until they're expert like within a few months they're knitting socks or maybe even less it depends on the student but many students are do really really well with our begin to knit class and then if that isn't enough we have a class that's called beyond basics and the Beyond Basics class teaches you how to use the magic loop. I love the magic loop. Okay, so I'm a newer knitter, and the double points are fine and dandy, but I'm telling you the magic loop is faster for me. So we teach you how to do the magic loop, and we make a hat. So if you want to use 100% baby chunky alpaca and make a hat and you live local, you could possibly take that class. So, and you can go ahead and sign up on our um, event page. So we have a question so. from Carol, and uh -huh. she's in Maine. Sure. She might ask him where other people are from, too. Oh, that's a good idea. But she has she had a question. She said she, has a, she needs a sweater pattern that's fairly easy. So you, can you think of any that we have that are easy patterns? Oh, and how do you my knit? gosh. You don't have to run because we're on, on Let's live. Let's see. But. Um, there is an adult um, sophisticated uh, sweater that is by Lyndon Downs, I believe. And that one is a really nice, I like um, top-down sweaters because I like to try them on. And I also like, um, Hayda Knits has several things that I like on there. And who else? What other? But I, I would definitely look at the, um, the Sophisticate, the, the, it's the Adult Sophisticate. And it actually looks like this. It looks like this Baby Sophisticate, but it's in the Adult so I would just um, go ahead and choose a top-down cardigan and see if that what you can find in there. And I would also, when I'm looking for a sweater pattern, I try to find patterns that thousands of people have done. And the reason why is I go in the Ravelry and I look at those projects and I say, do people like it? Um, it, they'll tell you, is it easy to knit? Are there errors in the pattern? Um, they'll tell you all the specifics. So if you go, if you type in um, top-down sweater and then you choose the uh, weight of yarn that you would like to use. Most people start with their first sweater with either, um, probably a worsted weight is best. And I would not recommend using really expensive yarn for the first sweater. I would use this vintage 
use worsted weight vintage to make your first sweater because it's economically priced. It has a little bit of wool in it, so it'll keep you warm, but you won't get too hot. And for your first sweater, you're learning. So you don't want to invest $100 in a sweater that, you, that may or may not fit. And do use a top-down, all-in-one piece. Um, just because you want to be able to try it on as you go. Because if you're going to run into problems, you want to know up front, is it going to fit? And you'll actually be able to try it on and say, is this working or not? So give that a go and see if that works for you. Um, I'm trying to see. Are there any other questions that people have about techniques or patterns? Or There's a question about patterns? how you choose a yarn to carry in the store. Oh my goodness. Okay. We go through this yarn at length. Okay, so not every yarn is good for every project, but we try the yarns and we knit with them. So I would knit with this Heritage and I go home and take this project and throw it, it says it's machine washable. I throw it in the wash machine and throw it in the dryer on a warm setting and I dry it. And I pull it out of the dryer and say, what does it look like? How does it feel? Does it feel stiff? Is it, is it degrading on the first wash? What is it doing? If it's a felting wool, does it felt evenly? We put it through the ringer. I mean, we, we put it through the paces. And if it does not work or we cannot figure out what to do with that yarn, we don't carry it. And there are a lot of yarns also. I mean, I was just um, trying out a yarn that I was knitting a baby sweater with. And there are um, yarns that I try, and it, it's an okay yarn, but it's very similar to something that we already have. And it's of um, maybe about the same quality, um, maybe not quite as good or what have you. So those yarns might be perfectly fine for some shops, but for us, we don't need to carry 20 different things of, of 20 different yarns that are the same exact thing. So we just find the best one that works for us, and then we carry that one. You might ask them what they want. So, um, but please, if there are yarns that we don't carry and you like them, we would love to know because we try to be everywhere at once, um, but you know that's impossible. So we love, we would love to have your help. So you just post them in comments and I take it seriously. I order the samples. When it comes in, I'm knitting away. And lots of times you'll see me at 12 o'clock at night and 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm still knitting and I'm going, what is this yarn doing? And if it's not nice, we don't carry it. So that's why we don't carry every different yarn. And not only that, we're not a huge shop. I mean, we're, a, um, you know, we're, we, can, we can't carry everything. But we try to carry the best stuff we can find. Mention Jody at one. So, okay. So also I wanted to mention to you today, um, today is um, Stitches West is going on. And Jody, my dear friend, is there. And she's going to be doing Facebook Live at 1 p.m. And she's a school teacher. She's an art teacher. She is fantastic. She's and she is going to have buttons. And so if you see her, um, she will be around at... Um, I think she's going to also have buttons at the Scassell, um For the contest. Yes. The, where the booth is for Scassell, you'll be able to enter a contest. And we're going to have prizes for that as well. And it's on our blog. So, and it's on the blog if you want all, any information about that. It's all on the blog. And we're going to be running specials for that Stitches West event. So check that out. Um, also, make sure that if you do buy from us and you sign up for our mailing list, we're having specials all the time. If it's not free shipping, it's a discount. I mean, we have, um, we'll have sales on yarns, we'll have all different th kinds of things going on. So it is really in your best interest. And we also have a, a points thing that we do so that you can get a free product. Um, so go ahead and sign up for our email list on alpacadirect.com. And... Patricia from Ohio just said hello. So she oh, just said. hi, Patricia. <laughs> it's nice talking to you. So. Oh, my goodness. So. Oh, yeah. I love um, talking to our customers. I feel like they're family. Here in, in our store, we have three times a week, we have open knitting groups. 
and we have our customers coming in and they literally are like our family. I mean, we had one of our elderly ladies this last week and she accidentally took a tumble. Um, and so we had one of our other knitters actually went home with her to make sure that she was safe. And we, we are just like a big family here. And the people who are our customers come in and they're selling yarn to other customers and helping them with their knitting projects. We invite people to come in any time of day, whenever we're open, please come in and get help. And we can help you with picking out yarns or if you get stuck and you've lost a stitch or you can't find where you're at on your pattern, we get you back on track. And so, yeah, we have a lot of, our Alpaca Direct family is very large <laughs> and boisterous at time too. So, yeah, we would love to have you post your comments and be part of our group too. Yeah. So, anyways. All right. So. I'm, I'm thinking of what else we need to talk about today. And as I said, this next Tuesday, we're going to be doing another Facebook Live. And I'm going to try and keep this as a frequent thing. We're going to get a schedule going here. And today is my first Facebook Live. So I'm enjoying being able to talk to you. And it's so exciting for me to be able to keep in touch with our online customers. I get to keep in touch with our store customers because they come in and we get to talk to them. But it's not as often that we get to talk to you. So I'm so excited to be able to engage with you. And make sure you post your comments and let us know what product you would like to carry. And make sure that you sign up. Um, and post your comments so that you can be part of our drawing. And we'll be sending out, whoever wins, we'll be sending out this lovely sparkle cowl pattern with a couple scans to be able to do a couple projects. And you have a great Saturday. It was very nice talking to you. Talk to you soon. Bye.